this is a day to celebrate. And, you know, I thought I would just say a few minutes uh, about why this is such a celebration. Just last Friday, President Obama, Secretary Duncan, joined former Governor Jeb Bush at Miami Central High School, where they celebrated another victory. And their victory was really an academic turnaround in that high school. And so we here today celebrate this victory because we do think that alternative licensure is an important tool in our being able to achieve this success. Teachers such as in Teach for America have been making these kinds of remarkable gains and achievement all over the country, and we want to make sure that Minnesota is a place that welcomes those teachers to be a complement to our current core, certainly not um, to replace our current core. So I thank all who have worked on this. I thank Senator Olson for her leadership. I thank Senator Stump for his previous leadership and my colleagues in the House. And most importantly, I thank the Governor and Commissioner Casilius for their commitment to put kids first. Thank you. I had uh, a comment with regard to that. If we look at where we're using the alternatively licensed teachers, we are using those teachers in places that have the highest concentrations of poverty, places where the children of color are having achievement outcomes that we do not believe reflect their natural ability. And so we're talking about a program here today that puts alternatively licensed teachers in the places where they are most needed. In addition, when we talk about mid-career professionals, we're talking about people who are experts in their fields, whether it's math or science. Again, areas where we desperately need those highly skilled teachers to be in those classrooms. So I don't think that we're really talking about a situation where we're bringing in people who are going to displace our current core of teachers. I think we're talking about bringing the best possible teachers into those classrooms where we have not yet succeeded and where we think that really is the civil rights issue of our times.